Uh, my name is Kyle Sexton. I am a senior DevOps engineer at a company called New Context, and today we are going to be talking about um, a new product from Chef called Habitat. So, what is Habitat, right? If you look around on the web, you're going to find descriptions like this one. Application automation that enables modern application teams to build, deploy, and manage any application in any environment. And when I started looking at Habitat and looking at those things, I had no idea what that meant. So I started digging deeper. You know, that's kind of what we do. You know, we find something that looks kind of cool, we dig into it. The first thing I did was I built out a small little cluster, right? Um, get some hands-on experimenting with it, try to figure out, you know, how am I gonna actually use this thing in production? But it didn't make any sense until I realized one thing. The infrastructure is not the point. So Habitat is not replacing Docker. It's not replacing Mesosphere. It's not replacing Chef. It's not, gonna, it's not going to try to replace things in your environment. So for me, this is kind of the way I am thinking about Habitat now. So Habitat is a framework for creating modern portable applications. It's not necessarily like a new infrastructure like where you go and set up a cluster of something. So just like Rails gave Ruby developers an easy framework for web development, Habitat is giving developers a framework to build you know, modern run anywhere type applications. So if you buy into that mental model for how I am describing Habitat, you know, what do you actually get for trying this product out? It's new, what, do you, what, what are the benefits that you're going to get from it? So Habitat, every application that you deploy with it comes with a supervisor, um, and what this allows you to do is basically um, have your application and do like things like configuration changes on the fly, right? So it's basically a listener that comes with every application that you deploy. You also automatically get service discovery built in, right? So um, your services can be grouped into, you know, like groups, um, and they can self-manage and reorganize based off changes in the topology. You get clustering strategies, so built-in cluster strategies such as leader follower, so think, you know, like MySQL replication, uh, so you can start your things that match how your topology should actually look. You get some secrets management, you get basically, you know, strong encryption, right? They're using uh, Libsodium, so it's a Rust implementation of the NACL library, so you get like some advanced cipher stuff. <laughs> And then you also get a robust uh, HTTP API. Um, and so a whole bunch of endpoints. I'm gonna talk about one of them next, the health one, which I think is really important. Maybe, yeah. So health checks. Um, when your developers are creating their applications, they can actually bundle the health checks with the application. And if you think about that, that's really cool because a lot of times you'll have apps that are deployed and then an entirely different team makes up the health check that checks to see whether it's alive. Um, you also get a clean build environment, so a way to build these packages without your operating system interfering with like system libraries and things like that. And you get a really cool package format. So you get you know isolated packages that are immutable and they're completely auditable. So you can track you know changes that happen to the packages. and they are portable. So, you know, you write your application um, and it runs on bare metal, but you can do a have export command and suddenly you have a Docker image or you have an image that's built to run on Mesosphere and that's just gonna get, the list is gonna get bigger and bigger. And it's take what you want. So you don't have to, you know, go all in and say, I'm gonna use clustering and all these different features. You can just start with running an application and then if you need a feature, it'll be there for you when you need it. And so try it. Um, they have a really cool interactive, you know, web-based uh, demo where you can type in interactive sessions and things like that. So there's like no risk. And thanks. So some resources for you. Uh, the Slack for Habitat is very helpful. Um, website, all those things. That's what I got. Yeah. <laughs>